Well, welcome back to New Day Northwest. You know, sometimes the rustle in the bushes is actually a monster or at least a beast. Shh. Go back to the calls. Dad, go ahead, please. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh no, 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 no. Well, Idris Elba is starring in this new thriller called Beast about a father and his two teenage daughters who find themselves hunted by a massive rogue lion intent on proving that the savannah has one king predator. Oh, well, we might not be encountering too many angry lions here in the PNW, but there is a certain level of wilderness survival skills that can come in handy. And Manon McPeters is here from the Wilderness Awareness School. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, thank you for having me. I know this was extreme, but tell me about um, why it's so important to learn some survival skills, mm -hmm. no matter where you live. I mean, anywhere that you go you never know what you may encounter yeah so it's important to know how to make fires it's important to know how to build shelters how to kind of meet your basic needs and how to keep yourself grounded while you're doing that grounded is key yeah, yeah. so is that what you teach at the wilderness awareness school uh, building mm -hmm. fires just basic survival techniques we do survival skills we do a lot of nature connection and more relational oh. kind of interacting with it partly because that when you have the relationship there then it's much easier to be able to survive right um, so it's about belonging it's about feeling comfortable something you learned at a very young age this is a picture of you when you were just a wee one yeah yeah I grew up off the grid um, so oh, I wow. was really kind of feral and wild growing up. <laughs> uh -huh. So I didn't ever encounter lions, but we did have bear encounters. We did have wildlife that we would interact with. Are um, you shooting a fire remote. arrow there? Yeah, that's a flaming arrow. <laughs> flaming arrow, my gosh, yeah. you are amazing. <laughs> so we aren't alone. We do share this beautiful place with yeah. all sorts of creatures. Why is it so important to have these skills? Mm. I mean, because it's, again, like we, we share this environment with other animals mm -hmm. and knowing how to how to understand them and how to connect with them yeah. makes it that more of a peaceful relationship. I mean, um, I yeah. had an encounter with the biggest raccoon I've ever seen in my life <laughs> when I first moved here and yeah. I realized who was the alpha and it was not me. <laughs> um, so just let's talk about some of examples before I let you go. You know, mm -hmm. what if we are camping and we do run into a bear or I don't yeah. think mountain lions are here, but if you're going south, there are mountain lions mm -hmm. and they are scary. <clears throat> Yeah, no, and there can be mountain lions out here, too. And the biggest thing is, I mean, like you said, with the raccoon is respect and recognizing that this animal is its own sovereign being, but mm -hmm. it isn't there trying to hunt you. It's just trying to live its life. Right. So it's about just showing it that you that you see it, that you understand that it's there. If you see yeah. a bear, you want to let it know that you're there, but also that you're not a threat. So make right. noise and be big and be visible and don't run away. So. Don't run away. Don't run away. That takes a lot of mental fortitude. Right. And real quick, we only have a couple seconds yeah. left, but tell us about what you think is the most important survival skill. It's mental health. Yeah, it's, honestly, it's mental health because it takes only three seconds to make a decision that could kill you, whereas you have three minutes without air and three days without water and mm. so much longer for anything else. This but is such good advice. Thank you so much for sharing yeah. it. We're gonna. I hope we come out sometime and you can show us how to make a fire and do the survival skills. Oh, yeah, I would we're, love that. We're coming in the field with you. Yes.